Yo, what up, guys? Terran Talks back, and look at what we have here WWE 12. I actually got it back from Gamefly. I decided to actually buy it because, um, truth be told, I missed this game. Surprisingly, it's, it's uh, more or less, I can say I missed um, <laughs> Jacob Cass, my creative superstar. So, um, what I'm going to do here, as you can probably tell by the title of this, it is going to be about how I uh, feel. Let's see, so I get a feel for this. It's going to be a bit getting back to this. I got the Brain Buster and Shock Drop. All right. Um, pretty much it's going to be about um, how I feel about WWE now. So let's get our opponents ready. Um, random it up. Mason Ryan, let's go. So that's pretty interesting. Has he? Uh, is he even still around? I don't even know. Like he hasn't. I haven't seen him a lot unless he's like on NXT or um, SmackDown. I don't really watch either of them. I only watch Raw particularly. Just because that's all, like all that I really care about. That's all I've ever really cared about when I was young. About when I was younger. Um, it just seems like Monday nights fit better with me than watching something on Friday nights. But um, I digress. I'm a heel apparently. But um, I digress. Um, let's talk about this whole John Cena situation. I know I'm late on this, but um, all right. They started with first and for, first and foremost, it was John Cena being um. Uh, let's see, hated. He went from like extreme fan favorite to okay, let's go Cena. Cena sucks. So my my thing is, I think they're trying to actually get him back on top so he can be like the super fan favorite that they once knew and loved before. And so they're like, okay, how do we do this? Let's split his audience, which is what they did when they said, let's have him face off against The Rock. We'll have some, someone's going to cheer for him that doesn't like The Rock. I think he's a sellout. And then he lost. People were still kind of on the side, but then it was still seen to suck. Then what they do after that? They bring back Brock Lesnar. Standing ovation from Brock Lesnar. Everybody was like, oh my gosh, Brock Lesnar, he's back. What happened? He beat Brock Lesnar. And then they're like, okay, cool, because Brock Lesnar wasn't anything. And then some people were still on the side, then they didn't like him. Then the John Laurinaitis thing. And then it's like, okay, then they bring Big Show. All of this just doesn't really make sense. I really do think they're trying to bring John Cena back into this whole like fan favorite deal where he's like, oh, he has to be fan favorite. And I changed it. I changed this music because they had this set to uh, the other guy, Husky Harris. But um, yeah, it's, that's how I feel about that situation. It's kind of interesting, but it's like you can. It's kind of obvious how they're playing this out, and they're doing this whole like big show with a giant deal. It's, it's not like John Cena's never beaten Big Show before. In fact, he's actually beaten him for the U.S. title. I think it was his first U.S. title that he ever won. He beat Big Show, FU'd him. I don't remember correctly, but I remember watching him FU Big Show and winning the U.S. title. But I digress. Next up, we have the whole people power. I can't wait. Hope that uh, he does get fired after No Way Out, as uh, Vince McMahon stated, if uh, Show loses. Here we Let's go inside this. the cell. Left trigger runs. That's X. All right, Chris. I think I'm good. But um, let's see what else is there to talk about. The Divas division has gone super sour ever since um, like ever. I guess you can say ever since they got rid of the, the Bellas, maybe the ever since Eve went no corporate, uh, it kind of got crappy just because. Eve stopped wrestling, the then you don't really see much from Kelly Kelly. They got rid of the Bellas, the and the only thing you really have are those Total NXT divas like Cameron, Naomi, right now. Um, what is her name? AJ, Remember AJ's homegirl, whatever, her, Caitlin. Up. And it's, it's kind of boring. Like the only thing, and like Beth Phoenix and Natalia. Kid. Natalia hasn't like really been wrestling much. If I remember correctly, Tamina's no it's, it's just, it has been Again, bad. <laughs> Not that it wasn't bad before; like it was kind of interesting to watch, but it's just gotten worse, which Mason sucks. I think they could do a lot better than that. Um, next up, we have the whole. Let's, let's just talk about missing superstars. Where the hell is Alex Riley? Why isn't he wrestling? And what the hell? Again. Where the hell is the Miz? Why isn't he, why wasn't he Once considered again, to be up there for a uh, World Heavyweight Championship Friday material? Though it is a SmackDown title, he could they should have still put him 
in that match with uh, the Fatal 4-Way was with Dolph Ziggler, Jack Swagger, Christian, and Kali. They should have subbed out Kali just because he's freaking huge. Like, Kali sucks, to be perfectly honest. Kali sucks. <laughs> he's not an interesting superstar to watch. Miz should have been in that match. And I'm hitting the wrong button to counter. And it's, it's just so annoying that, like, a lot of people don't like Miz, but... He needs. He does need to be freaking main eventing something. Like, shout out to Dolph Ziggler for winning. He does deserve to actually get a title shot. I hope he does win the title. I do like Sheamus, but even so, Miz needs to be somewhere and not just behind the scenes on doing freaking PR work or what is that? Uh, what do they call that? Social media crap. Like, no, Miz is actually a good superstar. They're just losing a lot of their assets by doing absolutely nothing with him. Dick no move, bro. Uh, this isn't right. It's my face. It's legal, King. It's all legal. Yeah. No. Well, that doesn't mean I have to like it. No. Damn it. I can't believe it. I, also, I mean, that's concrete. Who else is there? Who else is there? Zack Ryder, I don't really care. He's boring as hell. Sad to say. Like Zack Ryder, his whole only like like uh fun or the only way. Wait, wow. The doing? only thing that actually made me steps? happy to see Zack Ryder was the fact that he had the whole love triangle type thing with Eve and uh, Cena. Eve and Cena made him pretty much interesting to watch. Zack Ryder's not good in the ring. He's not that good in the ring. He's, he's just pretty boring to me. I, I, I bought into the hype before, but he's pretty damn boring. Um, Look at the eyes of CM Punk. Yeah, I think it's about time that he loses his title, but Remember, not to Daniel Bryan. I think they should give it to Kane Jacob so that Kane Cash. could, uh, because Kane, Jacob when's the last Cash time he had a title reign? Seriously. When's the last time he had a singles title reign? I remember watching him and Big Show get ta tag team titles, but, like, seriously. Kane deserves it. Um, this whole thing with AJ is pretty interesting. I like it, and, like, freaking can't counter for some freaking reason, because I haven't played this game in years. Not even years, but, like, months. I did that too late. No but yeah, this whole Eve, not ball. Eve, wow. That's how much I like her. All the this whole, the um, all the pain that's been dealt. what is it, AJ thing is pretty interesting. I, I like things like that. Spice up the storyline a bit. Everything that's transpired thus far. Come on. So Sales finisher. I want, there it is. Damn. It was like right there too. Sales finisher. Under the rules of a notice qualification match, the referee is... Wow. Oh, man, listen. Got it. Whoa, whoa. Let me get that back. Freaking Take suplex, the baby. They busted through the hell in a cell. But, um, now the yeah. Taking place right in front of us. What else is there to talk about in the world of the WWE? I'm getting a lot of this out right now just because... It, that's how I feel. Um, tag team titles. I don't think Kofi and R-Truth should have it. I, I think it should this. be the Usos. What are we going um, just because they've actually worked hard, they're actually a good tag team, not just two superstars that were that randomly so put close. together, you know. Oh, oh no, no, no. Side slam. Damn it. Mason Ryan is a beast. Damn it. Oh, and this whole, <laughs> this whole, what is this, what is the guy's name? Right um, you dick. <laughs> Toss me through the table. Oh, that would have been me tossing him. But yeah, this whole, what is the guy's name that's the wannabe Goldberg? What is his name? Um, the guy that's like, bring me more. I can't even remember his name. Just because he wants to be Goldberg. It's, it's kind of sad. Um, right back. There you go. Right back. It's, it, he's a cool guy, but he, he seems like he wants to be Goldberg. It's like everyone's pretty much a wannabe. Whoa, 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 whoa. You. Fuck you. At what point, King, do those thoughts creep in of. Wow. Is that really my, um. My freaking corner kick? Okay, I was gonna say. Damn it. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. When you get in control like this, the hell off me. Would you look at this? Can you believe it? This is an undying will to succeed. Sweet chin. Not really a sweet chin, it's a super kick, but I. Ouch. Come on, I need something. Oh, good God, I thought it was going to go there. Oh, it's going to go. Oh, it's going to go. 
<laughs> oh, 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 Playboy. We going in. The cell roof is broken open, ladies I'm the and shit, bro. With that fall, I'm not sure, but we may need to get the medics out here. No medics needed. Mmm, bruh. Mmm, son. This is one crazy match. I'm going in. I'm going in. Get him up. Oh, God. Calm the freak down, Mason. Can, let me get my comeback. Come on. <gasps> no. Oh, I got this. I'm good. I'm good. How destructive is Mason Ryan? Oh, oh shit! No, I'm not. Oh shit! He did it again. He did it. Did you see his head? Where's my comeback? Don't lose. One, two. Nope. Damn it! I lost. Mason Ryan wins. Yeah, that's because I had to get reacquainted. But I still have more to talk about. I hope you guys don't mind if I rematch this. I lost to Mason Ryan. Who gives a damn? Uh, give me some slack. It's my first time back after. When's the last time I played this? I don't know. I think I got this all acquainted though. But um, yeah, I think there's actually more to talk about. So this whole Vince McMahon thing it was pretty funny. Right How uh, he didn't even <laughs> he didn't even get hit. They said, "Oh yeah, Big So now he didn't even get hit." I saw the camera angle. It's pretty funny. Of course, wrestling. No some moments are fake, match. but some are like actually pretty real. But uh, it's pretty interesting to see that. Oh my God, he got hit. He didn't even get punched. We good. We are good. No, we're not. But uh, let's see what else do we have? I can't. Like, I, what I want to say is like, I really want John Laurinaitis to hurry up and get fired just because it'll send everything pretty much spiraling back to normal. Just because Eve Torres needs to be wrestling. I, I, I'm sorry. David Otunga needs to be freaking wrestling. He needs not to be sucking up backstage. Just because David Otunga is actually a good talent. Why is he sitting? Why, they're just wasting their talent. Shout out to the WWE for wasting a lot of their talent. Like freaking Eve Torres, David Otunga. Um, damn it, you took my damn move. Uh, let's see, who else? Alex Riley, freaking Miz. They're just wasting a lot of their talent, which is pretty damn sad. And focusing on Big Show. It, I understand, like, old school people. Like, some of the old era. Like, I'm a freaking fan of the Attitude Era and old school people, but. It, it's, he needs to focus on the future and, and the current people. Like, I don't even know what the hell happened to Cody Rhodes. Like, I haven't been watching SmackDown, like I said earlier. And this is really pissing me off. Stop it, Mason no punk ass. Get freaking booted. Let me stop talking for a second and take this guy out. All right? Get out my face. Get kicked. Get boofed. Because you're pissing me off. All right? Get up. Get up. Word. No, you don't get me like that. Dangerous impact for the neck. Stop, bro. Are you serious? And also, I can't wait to do W13. It's gonna be pretty fun. I can't wait to see what they do with that. Shout out to like the whole Attitude Era thing coming back. Oh, look at that! I let it go. I let it go. Off my shiz. Can I even? Oh, that made no sense, but it happened. It happened. It made no sense. So yeah, getting reacquainted to these controls. I once again, first off, I want to say I apologize for a long video. Uh, let me know if you actually watch it. Let me know in the comments how you feel about WWE. What I should talk about. I think that's what I'm gonna start doing now, since I do have the game again. My thing is going to be that uh, I'm gonna start doing my impressions because I wanted to do this for a while, and I'm actually happy that I have the game again. Because, I, like I said, I didn't miss the game. And I actually do want to talk about how I feel about this. So, let me know if you'll watch. Let me know if, if it's a bad idea. Let me know uh, pretty much your general feelings about it. Um, let's, see, let's see, what else? Yeah, like pretty much, yeah, your general feelings. That's, that's a good thing to say. Just like, if you agree with how I said it or what I said, you disagree... What would like, yeah, what are your opinions? And yeah, that's um, pretty much all I can think of to say about oh, what I just hit. said about Too things slow. about the WWE. But of course, there's still more to be said. Oh, no. 
Like, uh, like his head just bounced off that also, that whole John Cena thing is just a way, it's just a ploy to keep John Cena out of the title hunt. Because right when's the last time wall. Cena never had a championship? It's the only way to keep him out of the title picture is by introducing him to all this craziness. First starting with Kane coming back, and then The Rock coming back, and then Brock Lesnar coming back, and then John Laurinaitis wrestling, and then Big Show returning from being fired, and then punching out John Cena. Like, it's, it's pretty boring. Big Show has always been a boring talent because it's not really that exciting. It's like just because he's so damn huge. Just because he's so damn huge. Damn it. I got thrown again. But yeah, just because he's so huge, it's like he pretty much has the advantage. It's like, okay, he's seven foot tall. How can he lose his match? But he loses a lot. And it, it, it's kind of interesting. It's like, wow. Uh, let's see. Also, what the hell happened to Wade Barrett? And like, I, I ask these questions because I know a lot of you out there, or some of you out there, actually like watch, or not watch, but like pay attention to like some of the news and stuff. Like, you guys pay attention to like the wrestling news. I don't, for the most part. So, uh, yeah. But I want to know what's going down with Wade Barrett. What's Once going again, down with uh, Miz, Riley? Like, has their contracts expired or something? And I not know about it. I would Can like to know because those actually some of my favorite insane. stars. I actually would like to see them wrestle and get better things done for them. Like, I see Dolph Ziggler actually finally getting something done, which is good. And I like that. Um, he's a show off. He can show it off. Like he says. If he can prove it. Why not do it? Ziggs has been proving it day in, day out. Especially at like pay-per-views and where he would double, he would have Look double matches. Like, come on now, you can't discount someone. Like, you can't count someone out just because of how they act. Like, they he has been. It was like what two pay-per-views in a row he had double matches. It's like Ziggs, think he's ready. All days Ziggler all day. Comes up with a great counter. Punk ass. Damage that cell's taken. They're going to break right through. Hey. Damn right, I'm going to break right through it. We may have calling just it. seen this cell terminate calling another it. career. Oh, Get up. Now. Get up. Get up. Watch it. Watch it. Get the hell out of my life as I hit him with the brain buster. Then let's see if I can get my other freaking special that I couldn't get last time because he countered me. Oh, He's look at that. Watch it. My, my, my signature that I created. Which makes no sense. Oh. Oh, get wrecked. Jacob and then we. Oh, he, he, he would ring out. Oh, my gosh. Punk ass. Mm. Do a ring escape Doing again. I dare you. I dare you. No. Oh. Oh, man. Is he fired up? Camel clutch, bitch. Camel clutch. He lets him out. Well, he why did I let him out? Some of his grip there anyway. I don't know why I let him out. Ryan as the R man. Oh God. Mason Ryan just planted him. <laughs> I just heard Perderp. I just heard Perderp. WWE. Moving on pure instinct. Let's go, bro. Get up. What will it take to finish Get my comeback. Superstar. Look at those eyes. Get that comeback. Get that comeback. There's the quickness and agility. Is this? Isn't that that CM Punk comeback? I think. I don't know. Oh, this That's what it looked like. Oh. oh yeah, One. Two. two. Three and I win. Cash wins. I would rematch that, but uh, then that would be a super long match. But I think that's pretty much all I have to say about how I feel about WWE. Um, let me know how you guys feel, like I said before, about it. Anything that I talked about, if you watched the whole video, let me know. Hit that like button. If you want to see more of this, let me know. If you want to see more about me talking about my reactions or how I feel about WWE um, as it progresses. And... Um, yeah, let me know if you want to see like match simulations or something like that. I could do like those, like match simulations and commentary over it, but I could try my best. So, uh, Terrence Hawk signing out with this WWE 12 gameplay, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.